Well, good morning, everyone. <clears throat> it's uh, Sunday morning, March the 4th, and uh, it's about uh, 7.30, I guess. We got uh, temperature is really mild. It's 64 degrees. I got this jacket on. I don't need it on. Uh, got a big day planned today, so we're going to move those 95 calves over west, uh, move them back here to the corrals. Yesterday, we had took uh, 10 head of odds and ends that we'd had uh, we had in here in the corrals and uh, took them over to the sale of buffalo and uh, these whatever we can get gathered up over west there we'll get them into the sale at Bryan uh, on Tuesday so we got uh, young Mr. Luke coming over today to help us he's gonna bring his trailer so uh, we should be able to get uh, them cattle brought back about 15 per load uh, about seven trips something like that all told but we got the corrals all emptied out the bulls been turned out with the cows uh, and so, uh, you know, the, the work, uh, the daily work here is going to start tailing down a little bit for us. And so, uh, uh Michelle's certainly looking forward to that, <clears throat> but we're all set up here to receive those cattle. Uh, got, uh, eight feed bunks lined up here. We'll feed them Monday morning. Uh, and then Mr. Luke, uh, while I'm, uh, at my day job, Mr. Luke's going to haul them on in there to the sale barn for me. So it's going to take him uh, <clears throat> a few trips too. He'll, he might start Monday afternoon and finish up Tuesday morning. But uh, <clears throat> here we go. We're going to have uh, some good, uh, some good aerial action from the drone, and uh, and maybe some other shots mixed in there. But should be uh, a nice action-packed video for you. And uh, uh, unlike the big Hollywood moguls, I'm telling you what we're going to do before we do it. We don't shoot the introduction after we shot everything else. So I'm predicting it's all going to go well. Uh, we're not going to get all 95 gathered up, I don't think, but I think we're going to get uh, above 90 somewhere and get them all moved back here. So, uh, hope you enjoy this. Uh, uh, should be a fun day. All right, we know our younger demographic out there likes some drone action, so here's a little drone action for the younger demographic. Uh, before we go over and move those 95 calves, we first have to feed all the uh, cows over here at the place. So uh, we just moved some cows into our north pasture yesterday because there's grass growing there and uh, we can save some hay by putting them out on that grass. It'll only last them for a couple of days, but that's a couple of days worth of hay saved. So here we are out in the north pasture and you can see the cows there. You can see the green grass. If you look at this brown area directly ahead here, that's hog damage. So the hogs are back and back uh, with a vengeance, actually. Um, but you can see the grass is really starting to grow. I don't think you can tell so clearly that the leaves are coming on the trees, but certainly the leaves are coming on the trees. Uh, probably another two weeks and, and it'll be way, way more evident. All right, so now we're out in the middle of the pasture where uh, there are no cows right now and headed back up towards the buildings there. So uh, we've been, uh, the cows that are in the north pasture have been in this pasture up until just yesterday. And uh, there you can see all the corrals and uh, small pens are also empty. All right, gonna bring her in for a landing here. Uh, you can see uh, the stock trader there and my pickup, so I've got it all set to go west there whenever, uh, whenever we get uh, these cattle fed over here. So see if I can get this thing landed without crashing. So you may, may have noticed I figured out how to do double time today. So uh, this uh, drone segment's all been filmed uh, two speed, double speed. So I think that's kind of cool. How you doing there, buddy? You're looking good. All right, so uh, we're over there in the west pasture. These are the calves that we're going to gather up and move today. Uh, they're about uh, in the middle of the pasture right now. We need to move them down to the north end to, uh, to where we've got the feed bunks and we've got uh, the trap all set up. 
Uh, so I'm going to hop in and we're going to uh, kind of fast forward down to the other end here. This goes incredibly well. So yeah, I put this up on Facebook just because even I'm amazed that uh, the gathering uh, went as smoothly as it did, but it really went smoothly. Uh, we were able to get them all in as uh, that Facebook video will show just really, really quickly and, and uh, kind, of, kind of amazed us. So here I am, I'm just pulling up to the trap. Uh, the feed bunks are all in disarray, so I will uh, stop and after I get this drone positioned where I want it, I'll get out and I will go straighten all of these feed bunks up so that uh, Michelle, who's coming behind me here, won't have to get out and do that, but she'll be able to just uh, go ahead and get, uh, get the pellets put out there, get it done. So right uh, here, I'm going to kick her up into double time. I just figured out how to do that today. Uh, Michelle's been uh, here helping me put this video together, and she thought that would be kind of cool if we could uh, uh, accelerate the speed without having, and that way we could condense the length of the thing without actually getting rid of any footage. So, so that's what we decided to do, and it actually turned out to be a pretty cool effect, I think. So here we go. I got uh, the last feed bunk to get straightened up there. Both ends are open uh, in this trap now, and so we'll fill cattle from both ends. I'm going to go ahead and pull in this one side so that... Um, uh, it'll be a little bit easier to close it up at the very end. And then uh, here comes Michelle into view. So she's got the little Katie with the feeder on the back of it. And uh, she's just going to put some pellets in all six of those feed bunks there. All right, I just dropped it back down to regular time. So this is not um, high speed or uh, anything. But I'm about to kick her into four speed here. So I, I found double speed. I found four times. There's four times. Now I'm just going to be quiet and let this thing speak for itself. All right, so uh, we're all done at this point, uh, getting them trapped. Uh, again, the, the, you know, the, the way this went, it, it works like this one out of 100 times maybe. I'm going to claim it. I'm going to own it. I'm going to be cocky about it because, uh, you know, I just happened to videotape it the one time out of 100 where it actually does work. So at this point, we're uh, going to head back to the place, get the pickup and trailer, and uh, start hauling them out of here. So we did get them all hauled out. It took uh, seven loads. Uh, I hauled five loads and Luke come over and helped uh, with the last. He hauled two loads then as well. Uh, on the, I see, was my first or second load. Uh, I was headed, I, I was loaded up and I was headed back towards the highway. And I just, uh, first load, Michelle says, I got stuck. And so we lost a little time there while we went over and got the tractor to pull that truck out. But it's real soft. I mean, the you know, it, it uh, it's been a fairly dry week. We would have had no chance of doing this last weekend. It was just too sloppy out there. Uh, but it really feels good uh, to have all 95 of those calves move back uh, to the house. And so, if we're able to get them into the sale barn, uh, we're going to get them sold on Tuesday. It's it's an iffy proposition only because uh, we got an 80% shot of rain tomorrow too. But I do expect we'll get them in. Uh, and, and that will be successful. So here is a shot of Michelle just leaving uh, that west pasture in the Katy. Uh, she's, uh, she's got it going on there. And uh, that's quite the little outfit. Uh, she's had good luck with it this winter and it's really served us well.
That's how you back up, folks. <laughs>